I guess that you've already seen the title, so without any further ado, let's get started with my at the moment top 5 plans that keep making me proud and anxious at the same time and the reasons why. First of all, how could the neon philodendron be missing from this video? I am in love with this plant. Earlier this month I've cut it, I've pruned it, we have some propagations here, as you can see. The reason why it was getting really, really long, so I wanted to make it more compact and that's why I decided to cut it. Really painful experience, but still now we have a lot, a lot of new growth here that I am really proud. The sad part of this plant's story is actually that it got thrift and it was struggling for a long time, especially when I was away. So now we've got some spraying here and there, a lot of sours, a lot of sours, so no new things can cling themselves on the leaves. And we hope for the best. But you could say that since we have that much of a new growth, the things are taking a positive turn. Neon was first, and second comes the Monstera Minima that I have here. She is stunning, she is beautiful. This is actually two pieces, two cutted pieces that my sister gave me like last year, I think, yes. The growth is not massive for one year, but this thing was struggling so much. It really did not want to create roots, but now we are growing like... This is the second favorite plant. I am a little anxious about this plant because it is still young and if it gets pests, because you know when you get pests at one plant and you don't put it at quarantine fast enough, then the pests will spread all over the place. And this one is really young, not that many leaves to get damaged, so I try to sour it really, really often and take it so we stay on the safe side but guys this growth is beautiful as it is at this pace fast or slow the leaves that it creates are so so cute and healthy already reached the top number three is actually a healthy This canathea here that looks so and so is doing actually great. I've separated the plants from the terrarium that I had because, well, they kept on growing and growing and that thing had no space for more roots, so they are now separated. Some of them are growing at the garden, some of them are still inside the house and this calathea here is really really cute when i bought her we had actually only this piece so this is a new baby now for the setup here i did not want to have my mind on her all the time so something like a diy self-watering system here going on some leca and then a net and a substrate as it was growing in the terrarium the same setup here as well and see is really great we have some weak spots here and there at the leaves and this is due to the pests that we had earlier this year that we've killed with neem oil awful experience but well this is pest free and proud and confident look at it by the way guys i'm obsessed with cactus at first i got some eucalyptus for breathing problems and atmosphere and everything so i got a lot of it and then i decided to split it in some little bouquets and just hung them here and now that it is kind of dried up it looks 
that, that, good. And I am not sure if I want to remove them. They kind of give a special depth to the plants here, dried and alive together, creating a harmonious existence, decor, whatever. Number four, it's not here. We have to move. How bizarre that it's actually <laughs> my pothos. Well, this pothos is the apple of my eye. It is my best baby, this one, and the neon. It's growing like crazy. The leaves are really, really great. They keep on growing and getting bigger and bigger. And this plant gets no fertilizer at all. If you've seen my swords and uh, some of my videos, I've mentioned again and again and again that I have a pond outside at the garden and for this plant's watering, I just get it and submerge it inside the pond. And that's it. That is the routine that this little beast has and it works great because if you have any pests on the leaves or anything when you submerge the plant inside the pond well these things can't actually keep on clinking <laughs> on the plant they will go at the water the goldfish will go then and eat them cruel but good and <laughs> then the um, whole cycle at the water gives a really good, great organic fertilizer for the plant. That is why we've got this growth, these leaves. It's so satisfying. It's the best experience ever to submerge your plants inside the pond. Wish everyone could have a pond, seriously. It's the best thing that I've ever done in this house. The pond, guys. The pond. Every plant parent has the right to have a pond. By the way, this leaf here actually broke, so I've used a straw, cut it vertically, so I can wrap it around the leaf as a splint, and now this leaf is still going on strong and healthy. So if you do have a plant that you really love, a huge leaf or something, and you see that it broke, you can use this trick so the leaf will be able to continue getting the nutrients and not dying. The sad fact is that it will have to live with a splint, so better use a green one instead of a black. Last year this thing was like this height, and now we have doubled it and we need a new moss bow or something because, well, we've reached the top! We've reached the top! And number five is actually this thing here that keeps on torturing me because it got your favorite. It got spider mites, yes! and we have actually did the treatment and I want to redo it because this is not a good sign. So sours for this girl, for this baby girl again, but the good thing about this plant is actually that the whole transverse reporting system thing that we've done is actually working I mean, the leaves are getting bigger, we had the problem with the pests, well, sometimes you cannot avoid these things, but what you can do is actually always check from time to time and be sure that you will catch the problem at the start and not when you will have lost all the leaves or anything. And we have new growth here, the little browns and a new branch here, a new branch baby here, and a new leaf is on the way. These are my top 5 favorite plants at the moment. We will see what changes and what not. But still, what's your favorite plant?